This, of course, is not the first time I have stood in the chambers here in the New Jersey State Senate to ask for an override. Hopefully it's going to be the last time I have to stand in the Senate to ask for an override. 33 members of the New Jersey State Senate voted for this bill when it was passed the first time. And the reason that I asked for the override is, is because this is a matter that could be an emergency any moment. As a matter of fact, today while we were meeting here in Seattle, there was an awful train derailment causing from the early reports death and injuries. That can happen any moment in the trains that travel through our state. And I asked members of my staff to pass out this picture to you because this is typical of the trains carrying back in oil, carrying chemicals that go right by buildings like this. Anyone who says that providing information to the public and to emergency personnel is a security risk should come and visit some of these communities, particularly the community in which I live and work, where there are almost 40,000 citizens that see this day in and day out on tracks that go within 100 feet of our elementary schools, our houses of worship, our volunteer ambulance corps, our firehouse. There are no fences, there is no security, and anybody who thinks that the bad guys can't get this information they can, because these are the pictures. In fact, I've been told that the little placards that show what is in each of these carts can be photographed, and there is an app that will tell anybody who's interested what that symbol stands for, what is in those cars. So all we are asking for in this bill that the governor absolutely gutted in his so-called conditional veto, all we are asking for is that first responders be told what it is they are going to be called upon to fight. The state knows, and most states around us share that information with the first responders in their state, but New Jersey doesn't. For some reason, they want to keep it a secret from our first responders, but not from the people who are in jeopardy. Second major portion of this bill requires that when New Jersey's Commissioner of Transportation asks CSX for the results of the inspection that they do of their own tracks, the New Jersey Commissioner of transportation can get that. I was amazed when I found out sometime over the last year or so that there were inspections and there were things turned up in those tracks and we in New Jersey, our officials, our cabinet member, could not get access to that. So it seems to me that a requirement that allows our first responders to know what it is they might be called upon to fight, to know the jeopardy that our citizens are in, is worthy of an override. Now I know that there are members here who don't probably don't want to ruin the governor's perfect record, and I guess that's as good a reason as any not to vote against, a no, not to vote to override. There are others of you that I'm sure have legitimate questions 
but 33 of you, 33 of us, voted for this bill when it came before us. Mm -hmm.